Welcome to Go Okanagan. I'm Doug Brown. And I'm Amanda Rose Schellenberg. You know, Amanda, right now, it's, it's a cold, crisp fall evening out there. It is, Doug, and it's one of my favorite seasons. You want to know why? Why is that? Because I love getting in my favorite sweater and having a nice, warm bowl of hot, tasty soup. Well, you've come to the right place. I have to tell you that we are at the Penticton Art Gallery, where the Soup Bowls project is taking place. And that would explain this table full of incredible handcrafted um, wow. bowl, soup bowls. These are made by the Penticton Potter's Guild for this event tonight. You buy a ticket, you get to pick your handcrafted bowls, and there's more. What? You get to go into the main gallery where something like a dozen local restaurants have whipped up their specialties, <laughs> making some incredible soup from every kind of soup you can imagine. Do you think we'll be able to try some? I think there's a good chance that we might be able to get some soup. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know that we'll get a bowl, but we'll get some soup. Well, we're taking this opportunity before the doors open to speak to some of the chefs and restaurants about the soups that they have on offer. We've got Stefano with us now from the St. Germain Cafe and Gallery. So what's in the pot, Stefano? This is Cuban garlic soup. Cuban garlic soup. It's, wow. it's basically thickened mm. using French bread mm. and the garlic is sauteed. So you get the sweetness of the garlic. And then as you fry the bread, you get a bit of a, a, a smoky caramelization, right? So it, it adds richness. And there's also some sherry in there. Oh, it's sounding better and better it's, by the minute. The sherry adds some sweetness. Wow, wow it looks mm. fantastic. Well, I'm here with Chef Jean McInnes at the Wild Scallion Eatery, and you have some interesting soup here. I'm I'm curious. What 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 have you made? Well, we have a raw Mexican fiesta soup. Um, our restaurant is mostly, we like to kind of go in the direction of raw and vegetarian. So, um, yeah, a whole bunch of Mexican flavors, Mexican ingredients. So I'm curious, I see ice cubes here, and from my perspective, I always known soup as being warm and fuzzy, and, but this one's cold. Yeah, this one, it is a cold soup. Uh, it's a little different, uh, very tasty though. We've taken a little bit of a refuge from the crazy room. That, that there are so many people down here for your fundraiser. It sells out every year, and I, I, I could probably sell to three or four hundred people, but we can only get so many bowls and so many people into the into the art gallery. Right now, we're in um, a different part of the gallery, and this room has some incredible art on it, and there's an incredible deal. Every year, any artist can bring three works, and the only criteria is it's got to hang on the wall, and it's got to be priced under three hundred dollars. And what we do find is we, out of the woodworks, all these artists that you don't know about, and then they, they come and they throw your stuff up. So it's a potpourri of surprises, and it's always fun. Yeah. And it's great timing, of course, right before Christmas. Now, the show isn't officially open yet. This is kind of a sneak preview of it, right? Yeah, we, we like to get it up for the soup bowls, and uh, I sold the painting right off the wall before the event was even oh. five seconds old. It's like, okay, red dots are good. Artists need to sip on soup too. Really nice stuff here. Amanda Rose and I were having a look at it. She's got her eye on the one with the... Uh, the peaches. The peaches. Yeah, Sorry. that's the one I sold. It's already sold, Amanda Rose. I sent an email to Kirsten. I said, Kirsten, we need some more paintings down. About 10 minutes ago, so... <laughs> All right, you're out of luck. We'll get another one here. 